When we went to the shop for an Airstream, we were torn between getting the 27 foot and the 28 foot. We want to give you the top eight reasons why we chose the 27 foot based on our lifestyle and they might help you make your decision. So stick around. We purposely didn't bring up price in this comparison because obviously your budget is specific to you and it's not really something that has to do with what our preferences are. You might be surprised to know that the 27 foot and the 28 foot Airstream are built on the same frame. They're, they're both 28 feet, two inches long. That's something I didn't realize originally. The width is the same, so that's not a factor. The GVWR, meaning the weight of the trailer plus how much you can put in it, is exactly the same. So it really comes down mostly to your lifestyle, your preferences, and what floor plan suits you the most. One thing you might want to think about if you plan on going off grid or boondocking a lot is that the 27 foot gives you two more gallons of gray tank storage and four more gallons of black tank storage than the 28. So when we first started shopping for an Airstream, we didn't really know the differences between any of the floor plans. And honestly, when you're at the dealership and you're jumping from one trailer to the next, they all kind of start to blend together and you forget even where you came in or what the differences between all of them are. So as you're shopping, give yourself some time to just sit in the trailer and really picture what you're going to be using it for. For us, we work remotely. We knew that we were going to be working most of the time from our trailer and that is why we ended up picking this model. The first two things that we love about this model are in the entry. Number one is this huge shoe drawer. We can fit a ton of shoes for both of us and we love that it is right here, easily accessed from outside. The second thing we didn't think we liked at first, but we love that the trash is in this cabinet alone away from the dish storage. It's also super convenient to take it out. All right, the next four things that we love about this model are right here in the kitchen. Number one, the 27 has the bump out. The 28, the countertops went all the way across. I know myself, I have so many plants at home. I wanted to bring a lot of plants on the road. This gives me a little space to have a little plant area and it gives us a place to put our water container. With the 28, we were looking at it and we were gonna have to put it elevated somewhere in this area. Number four is the drawers. We didn't like in the 28 how they were hidden behind a cabinet. Here, they're easily accessible big tons of storage. You get three drawers and then this is just a little hidden compartment good for pot holders and such. Number five is actually the bump in at the stove top. If you are over here cooking, someone still has plenty of hallway to go by you. In the 28, the countertop is straight across and that dinette is right here. So it kind of crowded the space up a little bit. Number six is the pantry. The 28 had no pantry, which I can't believe. The 27 has this huge pantry full of storage. Full of storage. The other thing we opted for is getting the convection microwave air fryer option, which takes the microwave oven out of, I think, this section of your pantry, leaving you even more room to store food. For weekend trips, maybe not having a pantry, you could totally do it, but we plan to take month or more long trips or potentially even live in this thing at some point. So we knew that we really needed to optimize our storage potential. Two things that I liked about the 28, it had a um, built-in spice rack right here. And I can see why they didn't add one in the 27, but we've added a little spice rack right here inside this pantry. The other thing I didn't love when we first got it was this huge control panel. As you can see, I've created a way to hide it, but there's so many controls on this backsplash, it drove me crazy. But between this little flag my friend gave me, some spoons, the coffee maker, the plants, I don't even notice them anymore. Reason seven we chose the 27 foot. The closet space. You get double the closet space in this model. In the 28 foot, you get this much. 27, you get this much. 
Again, we like to take longer trips. We've been out already for a month now. We potentially might live in this, so we knew we needed to maximize our clothing storage wherever we could. Number eight is bathroom storage. In the 27 foot, you get double the amount of storage. You get two cabinets and an under cabinet sink. In the 28, you only got one cabinet because the tire well is in your bathroom. I also looked at that as a big dust catcher. I could just see all the toilet paper dust catching all over that big tire well. So I'm super happy with this bathroom. There is so much storage in here. Another main perk to me of the front bedroom model is the privacy. A lot of the times when we're camping, we leave all these windows closed because it's at, up here at the truck anyway. We don't really need this light it's open. If you need to come back and change or use the restroom, you don't have to worry about closing curtains or creating privacy. And the main reason we chose this model, the 27 foot front bedroom international is this, the rear dinette. We're online fitness and nutrition coaches. We work from the road and we knew that with our lifestyle, most of the time we would be sitting right here. Whenever you camp, you back your trailer in, which means the best view you usually have is behind your camper. So this made the most sense to us. This is where we spend most of our day. We didn't want to be sitting up at the truck, looking at the truck or the parking lot, or even in the 28, the dinette is on the side. When we first started looking at Airstreams, we originally thought we wanted the model with the big couch. But after considering our lifestyle, this made more sense to us. And personally, we haven't really missed not having the couch. We have this section. It works out great. We usually have one or two dogs sleeping on the couch over here during the day. And at night, you can turn this into a couch if you want to by lowering the table, but we don't ever do that. I sit on this side, Jonathan sits on that side. We're super comfortable chilling here, sitting or laying down, watching TV at the end of the day. Okay, and lastly, a few reasons why we chose the international model over the Flying Cloud or the Globetrotter. Two main things were the flooring. The um, international has this vinyl flooring. Number one, it's super comfortable. Everybody who comes in here is, is always wanting to like touch the flooring because it's got some cushion to it and it's very clean. We have dogs that are hairy. I vacuum and sweep this thing out pretty much daily and it doesn't make a mess. The other two models have like a woven flooring that I could just see hair and sand and dirt getting stuck in. The other piece was the material of the couches. It's super durable, very soft and very comfortable. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe before you leave. We're here to help regular people get in really good shape and we wanna show you what an active lifestyle can look like while being in your camper. So thanks for being here. We'll catch you next time. I should catch you next time. From the outside, the only difference between the 27 and the 28 is that your door is right here on the front on the 28, whereas on the 27, your door's back here on the back. It's not far. <laughs>